friends, we made it. We made it to day 30 of the September Movement Challenge, 10 minutes every day. It didn't sound like a lot, but it was a big commitment. And I am so proud of you for carving out that time. If you did all 30 days with me, or if you jumped in and out, if you just did one day, I am so proud of you for showing up. And I hope that you made it here. I hope you get to see this one because this is my favorite. We've seen some of these moves together before, but I think it's worth revisiting our tension relief for neck and shoulders because we have stretched out a lot of spots in the body. We've stretched out the entire body. And I hope that you've walked away with some tools that you can use for yourself to help support your everyday activity. But something I think that we all, almost all of us can relate to is holding that tension in our neck and in our shoulders. And that's where we hold so much physical tension. It's where we hold emotional tension and stress. And so as your little gift, (laughs) we're going to work on this together for our last 10 minutes. So be extra cozy today. I'm sitting on my mat, but I'm up on a pillow. You can absolutely be sitting in bed. You can be sitting on the couch. You can be on the floor with me. This can be a break from work at your desk if you're working today, wherever, whenever you need this. Just go ahead and drop in with us. Let's get started. We've got Kike on lawnmower patrol, by the way, so you can feel nice and safe. She's protecting us from the lawnmower (laughs) outside. (laughs) So we're going to go ahead and find a comfy seat. That'll be different for everyone. So just make yourself nice and comfy. I'm going to be in cross-legged if you want to join me there. And we're just going to sit up nice and tall. We're just going to arrive. Whatever our day has been so far, whatever this month has been like, whatever we have coming up ahead of us, you're here now. And that's amazing. So go ahead and sit up nice and tall. In fact, Let's all bring our hands to our knees, bend the elbows, and just rock forward. Drop your chin to your chest. So this is the opposite of sitting up nice and tall. But we're just going to exaggerate this movement so that we can all get there together. Take a big breath in. My voice just cracked. Big breath out. One more big breath in. And then exhale, starting at the base of your tailbone, nice and slow. Start to roll on up. Rolling shoulders back and down. Do that a couple of times. Feel your shoulders in space. Go up, back together, and then down. And then make that movement smooth. We focused a lot on transitions this month. We're entering October. Go ahead and move into the neck now. Take a little bit of neck movement. Maybe some half circles here. If you live where there's a change of season, we're entering a new season. Maybe it's gotten colder where you are. Maybe the days are getting shorter. I'm sorry to bring that up. (laughs) But hopefully... These little 10-minute moments have taught us something, taught us how to just take a break and breathe and work our way through it, right? A little bit of movement can go a long way. A little bit of deep breathing can go a long way. A little break in our day can go a long way. And Kike is scratching the wall. She's doing her own stretch. That's if you can hear that, I'm really sorry, because that's not a great sound. Kike, what are you do? Now she's licking the wall. She's cleaning and she's stretching. She's she is very efficient. Okay. <laughs> We're going to sit up nice and tall. So wiggle out whatever you need to wiggle out if you need to do a couple more movements for the neck and the shoulders and the spine. In fact, just so that we can all get here, let's bring right hand to left knee, big breath in, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, turn to look towards left shoulder. Take two breaths here. Ringing out our rag, ringing out our toxins, getting a stretch not only for the spine, for good spinal health, for good strong posture, but also for the internal organs. One more big breath in, exhale, float your hands gracefully through center, left hand to right knee. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. Exhale, turn to look towards right shoulder. 
Oh, Kike, I thought we talked about not doing that on camera. Oh my. Can't take her anywhere. Big breath in. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> Go ahead and release. It's like she knows it's the last day, so she's like bringing out all the stops. Okay. Let's go ahead and cross one hand to opposite shoulder. We'll cross our, cross our arms here, hands to opposite shoulder. Pull your shoulders back and down. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Find that nice, strong posture. Drop chin to chest. Soar it up nice and tall through the spine. Pulling shoulders back and down. We're just dropping chin to chest. This should result in a big stretch for the back of the neck. Breathe deeply. And then gently look up without crunching the back of your neck. Trying to get a little bit of length through the throat, through the front of the neck. Maybe we relax in the jaw. Breathe deeply. And then go ahead and release. Drop right ear towards right shoulder and pull left shoulder down. We're still up nice and tall through the spine. Kike, what is wrong? And then come through center, <laughs> other side. Breathe deeply. And then release, amazing. We're gonna drop left hand down towards the floor and then drop right ear towards right shoulder. So, little goes a long way here. I know we've talked about that a million times before, but you don't need to force your ear to meet shoulder. Just let your head drop. The important thing here is that we actively pull left shoulder down, which is where that hand pressing into the floor comes in. If you need a little more, if that's not enough, walk your hand back, walk your hand back and out until you really feel that stretch, that tension relief in the left shoulder and neck where we hold so much stress. Breathe deeply and then add on if you like, maybe you gently look down. Experiment with this stretch moving through the front and back of the neck and shoulder. Maybe you gently look up. Ooh, when you look up, my fellow tight jaw friends, that's when you might feel that travel into the jaw. Relax in the jaw, relax on your exhale. Take some movement here, nice and gentle, or maybe you take stillness where that feels the most powerful for you. One more big breath in, exhale to come through center and bring it to the other side. So dropping left ear towards left shoulder, reaching right hand down into the floor, towards the floor, and then Bring that out and back as much as you need to. Also gonna be a bit of a stretch for forearm, bicep, maybe even wrist, depending on how tight you are. Breathe deeply and then experiment on this side. Maybe you drop chin down. Maybe you gently look up. Relax in the jaw, relax on your exhales. Use that exhale to get deeper into the stretch. Good. So the big stretch and depending on how tight you are, it might even feel a little pinchy, not, not in a painful way, but just in that way that you can feel that you're targeting those tight spots. And of course, don't do anything that causes pain. Listen to your body. One more big breath in. Exhale, release it. Oh my goodness, we could do that for hours, couldn't we? 
Let's go ahead and do a couple of circles, drawing circles with the nose, keeping that neck movement controlled one way, one direction, and then the other direction. Every time I say one direction, I want to make a Harry Styles joke, but I have held back all month and I just want you to know that. I feel like you should know. <laughs> And then we'll go ahead and come back to center. One more really big breath in, reach your arms, scoop your arms like you're like you're gathering something up or like you're holding a huge beach ball up overhead. Look up, stretch up, get a little taller. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Float your arms down. Thank you so much to old friends, new friends, everyone who has joined me for this September 30 days of 10 minute movement. 10 minutes makes such a difference and I am so proud of you. I hope we continue to move together. I hope you took away something that was useful to you and at the very least that you just were able to take a little bit of time for yourself. Take good care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all soon. Much love. Bye.